Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you different possible ways to fix microphone problems in Windows 10, most of which will also be applicable to Windows 7 and 8. This is somewhat of a rare situation. Mostly you only observe this problem when trying to make a call on Skype or Facebook or some other call apps. Now, if that is your situation, then you may first want to check that the audio settings for the particular app you are trying to use is properly set up. Let's take Skype for instance. If you're experiencing this problem while trying to make a call on Skype, then you should first check that you have an active microphone selected. To do that, go to your tools menu and select options. Here, click on audio settings. On the right side, you should see these different sound settings. And here you have your microphone. As you can see, if you have multiple microphone devices attached to your PC, then you should check that you have the right one selected. A simple way to check this is by talking to your microphone and checking for this volume level indicator. If it doesn't show any green bars, then try to select another mic option from the drop down until you get some indication of sounds. You can also go to the advanced option by clicking this button right here and then ensure you have this little green or white check mark on the selected device. You could move devices up and down and you could also remove them completely if need be. Now another way to check that your mic works fine if you are not using Skype or any call app would be to right click on the volume icon from the taskbar and then select sounds from the options. You should have this settings page pop up. Here click on recordings. Then again try speaking to your microphone and check the volume level indicator to see if any sound is detected. If not, then the solution in this tutorial could come in handy for you. Here the focus is on situations where such problem is coming from the actual microphone, not just from an app trying to use the microphone. And with that said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so today's video is brought to you by Prime Tech Mart. Prime Tech Mart is an online store for digital software licenses, mainly Microsoft licenses. They have Windows 10 Pro Retail, Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro OEM licenses. Now, in case you are wondering, the basic differences between the retail and the OEM license is that with a retail license, not only are you able to activate a Windows 10 Pro, but you are also able to upgrade from Windows 10 Home directly to Pro without the need to reinstall your Windows. Also, the retail license allows you to transfer the license from one device to another, one device at a time. They also offer different versions of Office, including this Home and Business Edition for both Windows and Mac. Now, obviously, these licenses are already at discounted prices, but in addition to that, Prime Tech Mart is offering you, the viewers, an additional 20% discount on any of these licenses if you choose to buy. The promo code for the 20% discount is ET20, as shown on the screen. They have several payment options you can choose from. Licenses are delivered instantly on the checkout page after you've made the payment and a copy is also sent to your chosen email address for future referencing. I will leave their links down in the video description. So before going into any complex settings or configurations, there are a few basic and more or less physical factors that could be responsible for your microphone not detecting sound or not working at all as the case may be. I definitely recommend starting off with this quick check so you don't make the problem more complex than it already is. Now oftentimes when we use call apps like Skype or Facebook, we likely want to use a headphone or earpiece either to hear more clearly or to keep the conversation private. In that case, if your mic seems not to be working, then you first want to check what kind of audio interface your laptop has and what kind of headphones you are using. If you are using a USB headphone like this which has its own microphone, then you want to check that this microphone actually works. You can test it out on another PC because by default when your PC detects an attached microphone, it automatically makes it the default microphone unless you configure it otherwise. If this mic doesn't work for any reason, then you won't detect any audio on your PC. Another scenario is when using a 3.5mm headset jack. This jack is designed to transmit sounds to your earpiece and to take audio input from your microphone. Now if you are using a headset with a double ring pin, then by default your laptop would expect the mic input from the attached headset so it will shut off the integrated microphone in your laptop. Now if for any reason the mic on your headset isn't working properly, then you will also have this mic problem even if your integrated microphone works properly. This is also the case when using a USB headset, the mic controls get transferred to the headset automatically and if for some reason it doesn't work fine then it could lead to this microphone problem as well. 
Another scenario is the case with docking stations. If you dock your laptop to a docking station which has some microphone device attached to it, it would also transfer the mic controls automatically to such device. So before going to change any system settings or configurations, do check up on each of these scenarios to avoid complicating the problem further. With that out of the way, the next step would be to check that the app you are trying to use your microphone with has microphone enabled for it. To check that, go to your system settings by clicking on the Windows Start and selecting the gear icon. On this page, click on Privacy, then click on the microphone. Here you will see a list of all the apps that can access your microphone. First, ensure it says here that microphone access for this device is on. If it says otherwise, then click on this Change button and turn it on. Here you also need to ensure that this allow apps to access your microphone is turned on. If not, you can turn it on as well. And then you can check for the particular app you are trying to use and ensure it has microphone enabled for it. From here you can also disable microphone for apps you think might have some spine mic features and leave only trusted apps and apps you actually need microphones on. If this problem persists, then the next approach would be to update your system BIOS. BIOS, as you may know, is short for Basic Input Output System. This is a little piece of software on the microprocessor that decides how your PC boots up and also manages data flow between the computer's operating system and the attached devices, including the microphone. Sometimes outdated BIOS can cause some issues with the microphone and other sound devices, so it's advisable to visit your manufacturer support page, search for the latest BIOS for your PC, download and install accordingly. Next would be to run the sound troubleshooting tool to try to automatically detect this problem and either have it fixed automatically or suggest possible steps you can take to fix this problem. To do that, simply right click on the sound icon from the taskbar, then select troubleshoot sound problems from the options and then wait for the troubleshooter to run. Here select your input device and hit next. Then it will try to resolve the problem with your device. If that is successful, you should have some positive message here saying your device is fixed. If not, it will say something like the troubleshooting was unable to automatically fix all issues found. It could also give some hint on what next you could do to fix this problem. Here as you can see, suggesting that I turn off sound effects and enhancements. So I will click on yes, open audio enhancements. And here, as you can see, all my enhancements are already disabled. If you have yours enabled, you can simply select Disable All Enhancements here, then apply and hit OK. If that still doesn't work for you, the next suggestion would be to try updating, reinstalling or rolling back your microphone drivers. For that, you will need to go to your device manager by simply right-clicking on the Windows Start and selecting Device Manager from the list. On the Device Manager page, expand the audio inputs and outputs. Here you will find any microphone devices attached to your PC. Here I have my USB microphone and the integrated microphone. So first I will update the drivers by right-clicking and selecting Update Driver from the options. Here I will select Search automatically for updated driver software and wait for the process to complete. If that doesn't fix the problem, then you can go to the device properties and then try rolling back the driver or uninstalling the device. In each case, after restarting your computer, you should have the driver reinstalled automatically again. Also, you can try updating and reinstalling the drivers on the sound, video and game controllers, especially if you have any yellow triangles next to any of these devices. The last suggestion for this tutorial would be to manually download and install the required drivers for your microphone or the sound device you have attached to your PC. For that, you need to visit your manufacturer support page and search for the corresponding drivers for your device. In my case, it would be this Realtek High Definition Audio Driver. Here, I will simply download and install accordingly.
And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.